Uh, today in this video, let me show you how to add terms and conditions or privacy policy links to your Elementor form. In Elementor form builder, in Elementor form widget, you have this item called acceptance. Yeah, with this acceptance form fill, uh, you can yeah you can add acceptance for terms and conditions of privacy policy here you can enter the acceptance text like this as you can see here but the thing is there is no option for uh, linking to terms and conditions or privacy policy so for that you have to enter html attack means link tech uh, yeah so here let me show you Yeah, terms and condition. For example, you have to add a tag. Sorry, a tag. I said f equal to, and then uh, enter your link. For example, terms and conditions. This is the link to your terms and condition page. And then here close the attack like this. Now the terms and condition is a link. Same for privacy policy, you can add here like this and attack as f equal to privacy policy. Close the attack like this. Now let's preview this. Yeah, now terms and condition and privacy policy is a link so that before accepting this your terms and condition or privacy policy, they can click on this link and and yeah, read the privacy policy of your website like this. But the thing is, yeah, almost, almost 99%, 99.99% of the people in the, in the internet do not read the terms and conditions of privacy policy, including me. But, but, yeah, uh, you, we have to fulfill the, all the formalities we need to, yeah, to avoid all any, any possible of legal liabilities. So this is how you add terms and conditions or privacy policy links to your Elementor form. It is quite easy. Users have to add this uh, HTML air tag. And yeah, I, I hope this video is helpful to you in adding yeah, terms and conditions and acceptance policy to your Elementor form. Uh, for adding yeah, air tag, it is quite easy. You can just uh, push this video and copy this uh, HTML, uh, HTML ad tech or you can just search Google ad, ad tech. You can search Google ad tech like this. And here in W3 schools is showing how to add ad tech like this. So yeah, it's quite easy. And I hope this video is helpful to you. And if you find this helpful, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe my youtube channel and support me and if you have any questions feedbacks please don't hesitate to leave a comment below i'm i'm looking forward to hear from you and thanks for watching again